Okay, uh, three things you may notice. The first is I am in a different setup again. Um, I'm sorry if this is really starting to annoy you, it's kind of annoying me, but I'm actually not at home, I'm at my boyfriend's flat at the moment, so I found a nice bare wall to film on. Did I just smush something on that? No, I didn't, it's fine. That's the trouble with white walls, they just get dirty. Second, I have dyed my hair. Um, I know a lot of you like the ombre, ombre, uh, and so did I, I really liked it, I just got a bit bored with it and also um, it had really damaged the ends of my hair and I just looked at it and just thought, ooh, like, it, I kind of missed my hair looking really full and voluminous and ombreing had made it a bit sort of lacklustre and a bit kind of broken, so I have gone slightly darker than my natural colour. Um, I did actually get it done in a salon. Um, so I don't know the uh, exact colour, uh, but um, it's basically just a medium ashy kind of slash dark brown. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my fringe. I don't want that to irritate you throughout the whole process of the video. And thirdly, what was the third thing? Oh, um, I'm using a different camera. Oh my god. <sighs> uh, basically, the laptop that I have is a pile of crap. <laughs> Um, it's, I mean, it used to be really good, but I guess laptops just die in the end, and, um, mine is just hanging on for dear life. I literally think it probably has a few weeks left before it's dead. Um, but basically, old laptop that's about to die, plus new really nice HD, uh, Canon DSLR camera equals extreme impossibility when it comes to editing. <laughs> um, I tried to, I, I could edit a few but I did those on my brother's brand new laptop and I can't keep recording videos and then editing them on my brother's because it's just not really, doesn't really make a lot of sense especially when I'm in London quite a lot so um, yeah I, I'm gonna have to use this one and I hope it's okay. I, to be honest I think the quality is fine it's just not my big nice jazzy camera so sorry about that. But yeah if you do have a laptop that you want to get me that's cool. Uh, anyway, today I'm doing a video on, well, as I've already explained, I'm at my boyfriend's flat and he lives in London, which some of you may or may not know, which is a quick train ride away from where I live. So I'm up here sort of half the time, back home half the time, so um, I bring with me my makeup bag and I just thought it'd be quite nice for you to see what's in it. So I'm going to do a what's in my travel makeup bag because to be honest, I don't normally bring this much up with me, it's just that I'm here a little bit longer this time and also I'm going to an event tonight with Louise and various other amazing, lovely, beautiful people and um, and so I wanted to bring a little bit more but also I was in a massive rush before I came up here so I literally just chucked everything in my makeup bag thinking, I don't know what makeup I'm going to do tomorrow but I'm just going to put it all in there then I've got more possibility when I get here. So this is a kind of what's in my makeup travel bag because I don't always have this much makeup in here but I'm going to show you anyway. The makeup bag that I'm using is this one. It has little, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's tiny little guinea pigs. <laughs> little guinea pigs and acorns. Now I don't know what acorns have to do with guinea pigs but yeah whoever made this put the two together. Um, I don't know where this is from, it was a gift so yes but um, yeah uh, if you don't know I absolutely love guinea pigs, they're like my favourite animal ever. Okay, I shall open it. It's quite big. It's quite a big hefty bag. And it's waterproof as well, which is kind of good. Okay, first thing. I don't even know where to start. First thing, my Bare Essentials um, Mineral Foundation, which I just don't go anywhere without, quite frankly. And I've got it in the shade Medium. Just quickly spin that around for you. Um, I have a Benefit um, Powderazzi, or Powderazzi, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this was one, in, I think this came in a Christmas collection, and it's... And it's in one of their boxes. Um, I've used it quite a lot. It's starting to, like, you can see which ones I've liked. <laughs> um, and I brought this because I like the bronzer, that's Hula and that is Coralista and then I've got the little brush in there which I never actually use but um, if you have wanted to try some Benefit um, 
blushes but you don't want to pay 23 pounds or whatever it is for a blusher in a box and get these at Christmas because this has lasted me about two years and I love it and you get like to try a little bit of everything that way and it's cheaper um I have my HD brows kit in vamp um I love this this came in my glossy box um, I'm sure you're all aware of Glossy Book, but I don't want to like show you the rest of Wolf's Flat, so I'm just going to cover that. Um, it's got the four different shades, and the shade that I use on my eyebrows is this one here, and the little brush that comes with it is super useful, so I like that. Uh, eyeliner. I've got Studio Makeup Liner Style Pen, which I am loving. This came in um, the Boudoir Privé box or boudoir privé, however you want to pronounce it. I don't want to like butcher the French accent. <laughs> so I really like that, just an eye, plain black eyeliner for flick cat eye uh, thing going on. Um, I have my Nars Laguna bronzer there. Love it. I've had this for a while, but I've just recently rekindled my love for it. I've got it on now. Um, I have this MAC uh, eyeshadows um thingy and i it's actually from a very old collection i think a christmas collection and it's the warm eyes palette i don't know which collection this is from but i actually bought this from a car boot for 50p and i like used it to death as you can see it did it does have a brush but i've taken the brush out because um i just don't use brushes um and as you can see woodwinked is my favorite and i can't even remember what that color was it's all rubbed off on the back but it's all gone and I like to use that one in the crease. So that's good. And I like that it has a huge mirror. I've got quite a few mascaras in here. <laughs> I'm not sure why. So I've got my absolute favourite um, mascara is number seven Exquisite Curl. And that's in brown black. I'll show you the brush quickly if you really want to see it. I don't know if that's going to focus because... Uh, there you go. Best mascara ever. Um, I also have the little Chanel one that I got as a sample. Um, and that is the Sublime de Chanel. Uh, let me show you the brush, the nib on that one. I'm not a massive fan of this actually. It's a plastic nib. Nib? Brush. <laughs> it's not a pen, Zoe. It's a plastic. Uh, I was going to say pen then. It's a plastic brush. Oh, throwing it everywhere. And I'm not a massive fan of those. Don't really feel like they do a lot. I think bristles grab my lashes more. Uh, the last mascara that I've got is this one by Bourjois. And I was recently sent this. Um, and it's their rotating one. It really freaked me out at first. I was like, oh my god. Um, I love the brush. It's a bristle brush. So it's got my vote already. And then you've got like a remote on the handle and then you literally flick it up. Can you see it spinning? It proper grabs your eyelashes. It's quite strange because you're holding it there and it's just spinning your eyelashes and it's like, ooh. That was a weird noise. Uh, really good mascara, but be careful with the spinny, mechanism-y, jobby. Uh, oh, foundation-wise, uh, underneath the Bare Minerals, as I said, that's how I like to combo my foundation. I've got my Studio Sculpt in NW20, as always, and my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. I think that's what it's called. It's all rubbed off in light. Um, I've also got my Benefit Erase Paste in number one, and I know a lot of people don't like this, but I love it personally, and I'm nearly all out, so that's going to be another £18 spent on that. Way too expensive, but I love it too much to not buy it, so damn you, Benefit. I also have an eyebrow pencil, even though I have my HD brows. It's got a little brush on the end. This is a um, Dior eyebrow pencil. Oh, it's really blunt. Uh, and I've had this for a really long time, but it suits the colour of my eyebrows perfectly, so I keep that just in case. Um, I have a Topshop Coal Liner, which I use a lot. If you're ever wondering what brown eyeliner I'm wearing, it's mostly the, likely this. It's called 
saddle so look out for that all the lids like cracked though which is really annoying but I still love it I have my Bobbi Brown corrector even though I don't really know how to use it um, well I do know how to use it it goes on underneath uh, concealer but I don't like to put too much concealer underneath my eyes and I find this really really creamy like I find it even creamier than um, a raised paste so uh, got that just in case I suppose I look extra tired I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance which as you can see is a complete state it's grubby beyond belief and it's nearly all gone so any recommendations for a good eye base put them below please uh, I have Oh, I have another eyeliner. This is a Lancome eyeliner. I think I got this in a kit. It's just black, but it is one of the best eyeliners I've ever used. It smudges really nicely. It doesn't drop down below my eyes, and it's just a really nice black. So I like that. Brush-wise, they are going to be dirty. I do apologise. I have just used them. Um, I have a Lily Lolo Kabuki. Oops, I'm going too high. Lily Lolo Kabuki. It's alright. I wouldn't really recommend it as far as Kabukis go, to be honest. I have a Sigma Blending E25, which is just a, basically a MAC 217. I have a MAC uh, 232 eyeshadow, shader brush, Majobby, Jobby. I have a Sigma Short Shader E20. Um, I really like these brushes because... Um, I think they're really useful for getting underneath and very very close to the lash lines for blending and I have my favourite ever MAC brush which is the, oh my gosh it's rubbed right off, 109 which I use for absolutely everything I use this for contour, for blush I uh, just love it, it's my favourite MAC brush ever um, I have a Barry M nail polish which I'm about to paint my nails with why do I keep going up above the camera here's my Barry M nail polish look at it it's so great look oh oh in red black 104 and then it says 115 so I'm not sure which is which I'm about to paint my nails with this so I'll leave that out I have a Topshop lipstick which I've not actually taken out of the box yet I was going to show you this in my haul video but I'll give you a sneak peek if it comes out you know I love my Topshop lipsticks. It is in Begilded. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. And it is a dark plummy red. Which I've wanted for a while because, you know, it's good for the autumn winter. Oh, let's try and close that without breaking it before I've even worn it. But for skin creams, I've got my trusty Lizelle moisturiser as my day cream and then for night time oh it's got like the remnants of my makeup bag all over it for night time I've got my Origins High Potency Nitamins which is minimal minim, minimal is a mineral enriched oil free renewal cream which I recently been sent and I'm trying it out so that's why I've got that it smells not so great I'll be honest with you oh it smells like you know those sweets that you can get that have like an orange liqueur in them, like a dark chocolate orange liqueur sweet, that's what this smells like. Most people would love the smell of that. But here's a fact about me you might not know. Anything that's not a real orange makes me want to gag. So I can't drink fizzy orange, I don't like any orange sweets. If I'm eating a bag of Skittles, there'll be a pile of orange left at the end. Anything, any, any sweets I don't like that's orangey. Unless it's a real orange, then it's fine. So that to me just smells like really fake, horrible orange smell. So when I put it on, I'm like, oh, please be good to my skin because I can't stand the smell. Um, I also have my back comb brush because I have just back combed my hair. This is really cheap, actually. I bought this in Sally's, I think, for about £2.99. And they are really, really good. I think these are actually specifically for back combing, so try find one of these if you want to back home your hair ever and then I also have Tresemme instant refresh which is a dry shampoo uh, I know everyone sort of raves about Batiste but but I recently saw that Gemma of Gems Maquillage uh, 
she always goes on about how good this is so I bought it because I thought well Gemma's never wrong let's face it and this is so much better than Batiste now I hate Batiste like I this doesn't leave your hair feeling chalky which is one of the things I didn't like about Batiste for a start uh, you've got to make sure you really rub in the grey which actually is quite time consuming and sometimes you just think I should have just washed my hair really um, and it does leave it quite dull looking whereas this one which actually is clear so there's no white anyway so you don't have to rub it in massively and it leaves my hair feeling super soft and clean like I've actually just washed it so yes it may be a pound or so more but it's totally worth it and also it smells much nicer I think I think I think the Batiste smells are very sickly and a bit sweet and sometimes it's a bit sort of overpowering whereas this just smells like clean hair so would really recommend that thanks Gemma um, and the last thing in my makeup bag is a little tiny Tresemme Ultimate Hold Platinum Shine 5 Hairspray which is really really good and I'm going to have to buy the big size because the little size is my favourite and you always need one of these for your handbag anyway so go grab one of these um, so yes that is my makeup bag emptied and that is everything that I've got with me just quickly before I go um, on my blog which I think a lot of you may follow if you don't then I'll put the link below and you can go and have a look I'm having a giveaway at the moment which runs until the 24th of November um, to win one of these which I just think is so freaking cool and cute and it's a real camera let me just explain if some of you are looking at it thinking what the hell is that um, it's a lomography camera um, so you put a film in and you can take retro vintage photos and I know a lot of you who follow my blog like the effect on my photos which is essentially me trying to get an effect similar to what something like this would do so if you want a chance to win this not this exact one because obviously I've used this but if you do want to win one of these I'm having a giveaway in my blog so go check that out and you don't have to obviously not everyone likes photography so if you don't want to then don't worry about it um, but yeah that's everything uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you soon bye ow I'm joking, I'm not a money grabbing whore. Whore? No, that sounds really bad, I can't use that word. I'm not a money grabbing busybody. Um, oh, I think I've just smudged black on my face. Oh.